Hi and welcome to your self-love yoga spell for self-belief. I am a very firm believer that everyone, every single person has a very special power within them and to unlock it all they have to do is believe in themselves. Very woo-woo of me but I'm a very woo-woo person and I'm also nearly always right. So when you're ready, let's begin standing at the top of our mat, mountain pose. Bring your feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward, hands can be at the heart or by your side. And take a second to look down at your feet. Lift all of your toes up off the mat while grounding down with the rest of your foot and try and place the toes down one at a time so starting with the baby toe then the next one the next one and this might seem impossible at first but with practice it becomes easier just try that a couple of times and there's no need to worry about getting it right or anything like that So all we're trying to do is just gain a little bit more awareness in the feet. So we're also going to move a little front and back, side to side, until we find a place that feels like centre. So standing through all four corners of the feet evenly. And see what it feels like to actively press away from the ground with your feet. So that might feel a little bit more intentional, a little bit more powerful maybe. And let this pressing away from the mat affect the rest of your body. So maybe you stand a little taller, let the shoulders pull down lift the crown of the head slightly and keeping this awareness on an inhale sweep the arms up and overhead for volcano pose palms of the hands are facing towards each other and there's an active awareness in the fingers gently guide your shoulders down and away from the ears Stay here as we add on the layer of the breath. If ocean breath is in your practice, you can bring that in. Or just a nice audible breath. So something that you can hear, something that feels full and deep and loving. On your next exhale, wiggle the fingers, rain it all the way down into a forward fold. Find stillness or find soft, easy movement. You know what you need best. Your next inhale lifts you up halfway. Hands come to the shins or to the tops of the thighs. Pause here. Reconnect. Exhale to fold. A big inhale sweeps you all the way up to standing, back to volcano pose. This time lift the right knee, flex the right foot for one-legged Tadasana. Find a drishti, a focal point out in front to help you with balance. And if you do wobble and fall, don't worry about it, it's not that serious, just come on back in when you can. Exhale to bring the right foot down and take it over to the other side. We're still pressing away with our standing leg, keeping this integrity throughout the entire body. And switch over to the other side again. Release and switch. Both feet to the mat and fold it all the way down on an exhale. 
inhale halfway lift this time hands extend behind us aeroplane arms stay here or you might try lifting the heels off the mat for a wee version of drinking bird and on an exhale return back into your fold this time step the right foot back right knee stays lifted as we rise all the way up high lunge hands reach up high relax the shoulders on an exhale arms reach back for airplane arms legs stay exactly as they are as you tilt forward slightly from the hips gazes down and out inhale to reach up high exhale to rain the hands down both hands come to the inside of the left foot for a lizard variation inhale to look forward lift the chest exhale stepping it back to your fold left foot steps back as we rise up for high lunge exhale airplane arms lean forward look forward inhale to reach up high exhale to rain it down both hands to the inside of the foot for a breath in lizard when you get there open the chest look forward and exhale takes you back into your fold take hold of the elbows bend the knees and sway a little side to side release through the arms roll up through the spine volcano pose lift the right knee and without looking down step it back into a high lunge hands to heart and we'll pivot on the back foot as you turn to the side of your mat both toes pointing forward so we're in a wide leg stance facing the side of the mat take as long as you need to get adjusted take your gaze down and out slightly as you start to hinge at the hips keeping a flat back position when you get halfway arms shoot back for airplane arms reconnect to your breath hands come back to the heart as you slowly rise up this time we're going to swivel round to what was the back of our mat for high lunge hands up high Find a little bit of bounce in the back knee so that you can kick off, lift off through our one-legged Tadasana. And exhale to release the foot, release everything into your fold. And whenever you're ready, in any way that you like, make your way down to the mat into a seat. legs reach out in front toes flex towards the face bend the knees inhale to sweep the arms up and overhead and exhale to wrap the arms behind the thighs rest the head down and relax and maybe take this little chance and a quiet moment here to think of a mantra or affirmation you can take with you and off your mat it can be something as simple as i believe in myself i actually have i believe in my own magic on my vision board if you want to borrow that or you can come up with something entirely different make it something you can come back to throughout your day or whenever you need it.
when you have something, we'll roll on up to a seat. Cross the legs and sit up nice and tall. On your next exhale, bow your head towards your hands in a moment of recognition for yourself. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through this practice. If you have enjoyed it, I do actually have a little affirmations video that goes along really well with it. It is part of the Self Love Spells series that I have on my channel um, and it is Self Love Spells Affirmations for Self Belief. So I hope that you have a really lovely rest of your day. I hope you believe in yourself because I believe in you and I will hopefully see you in another one. Bye.